Hello again, John Hernandez upstairs on the fourth floor, recapping week nine, looking ahead to week 10, a big week 10 coming up, five days of racing starting on Wednesday, July 3rd with a post time of four o'clock and fireworks at dusk. And of course, before next week is over, the Iowa Festival 2019 will be in the books and we'll see how those big races play out on Friday and Saturday. As far as week nine was concerned, big weeks for jockeys Alex Berzer and Ramon Vasquez. Each rode seven winners during the course of the week. Berzer had five winners on the Thursday card. Glenn Corbett rode five winners during the four days of racing. And David Cabrera, Alex Kanchari, each with four wins. Trainers, John Arnett had another big week, five wins during week nine. Federico Villafranco sent out four winners. Carl Broberg, David McShane each saddled three winners. And in the ownership race, it was pretty tight. Danny Caldwell got two on Sunday, so went to three for the week. Don Frazier, Dave McShane had two. Ditto for the Alba family stables of Jason Lutz and the giddy-up racing of Gary Ludicky and Ken White. So with that in mind, standings after 34 days of racing and nine weeks, Alex Berzer leads the jockey race at 46-44 over Ramon Vasquez. Then on down to 35 for David Cabrera, 33 for Alex Canchari, and 24 for Ken Tohill. Those are the top five riders after 34 days. Trainer standings, 38-29, Carl Broberg over Federico Villafranco. Jan Arnett with those five wins went to 23. Then Lynn Kleberad at 21, on down to Tim Martin at 11. With two wins on the Sunday card, Danny Caldwell jumped ahead by one win over the end zone athletics of trainer Carl Broberg. And so that race stands at 24-23 with 33 days of racing left here in 2019. We now have two three-time winners at the meet. Took us a while to get the first two, but they both came during the course of the week. So let's take a look at those two victories that produced our first three-race winners of the meet, starting with Spunky Town on Thursday night. And Spunky Town gets a burst of energy at the top of the stretch now and draws off. And this one might be over at the furlong pole because there goes Spunky Town clearing. Kinky Kim in a race for place with Aunt Gail and uh, Emmy got even and Florida Bird. But up top, it is all Spunky Town and Spunky Town. And Alex Berzer going to win this one in hand and draws off and wins it well. So Spunky Town became the first three-time winner on Thursday. On Saturday afternoon, a very hot day of racing here at Prairie Meadows. It was Hunter's Appeal winning the fourth race, becoming the second two-time winner of the season. And it's Hunter's Appeal on the outside. Uh, Treasury Bill tries to get through along the inside, but is pinned right down on the rail by a come-backing Moloch. And Moloch tries to come back at Hunter's Appeal as they are in deep stretch. Hunter's Appeal has the nose down and the win. So big efforts for those runners. And we have two three-time winners, 37 two-time winners, so there's a good chance we'll add to that list of three-time winners in the next couple of weeks or so. As mentioned earlier, Iowa Festival of Racing on Friday and Saturday, and the starting time for both of those days is 6 o'clock. We'll see at least one defending champion return here to defend a Cornhusker title won last year. It's Remembering Rita, who pulled off a big upset in the Prairie Meadows Cornhusker at odds of 19 to 1. Let's see how that race played out. Alex Berzer and Remembering Rita win the 2018 Cornhusker. Here is Remembering Rita, and now Remembering Rita takes the lead. Delmore fights back. McCracken is down the center. Remembering Rita has gotten to the top here. Delmore is next. McCracken is down the center of the course with Matru, and Remembering Rita is going to win it. So that's a look at Remembering Rita winning the 2018 Prairie Meadows Cornhusker. Almost 20 to 1. Nice win there uh, for the connections. Trainer Doug Anderson, owner Gerald Keith Adams, and jockey Alex Berzer back in it this year. Remembering Rita looking to become a two-time Husker winner. So again, the schedule for next week. Wednesday and Thursday at 4. We'll have fireworks here at dusk on Wednesday. Then Adventureland has their fireworks on Thursday. Iowa Festival of Racing Friday and Saturday. Post times for those two days at 6 o'clock, and then we'll end week 10 on Sunday afternoon at 1. So that's a look back and a look ahead. Week 10 coming up, going to be a big one, 2019 Iowa Festival of Racing on Friday and Saturday.